lovely friends welcome to my channel creative art i am nilima and today friends we are going to make this beautiful and colorful deco page coasters i have added this special crackling effect by using crackle medium so friends please to watch the whole video to make this beautiful deco page coasters yourself and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to get notifications for each video I post every week. So enjoy this DIY now friends. For this DIY friends, first of all, we are going to need this kind of a round coasters. You can also buy the square ones if you like, but I'm going to use the round coasters. Each costed me 29 rupees. Next, we are going to need paint. So I'm going to use a matte chalk acrylic paint you can also use a normal paint for this diy i will be using different colors so i'll mention them in my description box next is my favorite one step crackle medium this is the best crackle medium i have come to know next we are going to use deco magic premium decoupage glue this is the glossy one we place the decoupage paper or napkin on our base and the last is decoupage varnish i always love to use the glossy version to secure our decoupage art on place other than that friends we are going to need flat hair brushes palette sponge brush or you can use this kind of simple sponge and the most important thing which is a decoupage paper or a decoupage napkin so this time friends i'm going to use a decoupage paper these papers are a bit thicker than the decoupage napkins so you may have to use scissor to cut them exactly in the shape friends you can buy all these decoupage materials from one stop which is itsy bitsy you'll find the store in all the major cities and friends they also have a art and painting materials selling website so do check it out because they give you all the materials in discount now friends our first step is to color our base and before that do remove these labels okay so now friends using a flat hair brush i'm going to start coloring the base using acrylic color you can also use a sponge do color the sides next is pink and also color on the sides keep it to dry now I'm using a deep brilliant purple color, turn it around, okay so this is also ready. Next I'm going to use a deep magenta color. Now friends will let all the colors get dry for at least 2-3 to three hours and then do the next step. Now friends all our coasters are dry completely and this is how they look. And now friends I'm going to use one step crackling medium. So first of all I'll shake it very well then pour it in palette. And now friends using my flat hair brush I'm going to give all the coasters an even coating of the crackling medium. A thin application will give you small cracks and a thick application of the medium will give you bigger cracks. Okay, this one is done. I think it's fine. Now we will let all these four posters get dry. So now friends, after a long time, our crackling medium has got dried up and so plain and glossy it already looks. So now friends, I'm going to place the final coating of acrylic color. I have decided to do two different colors. For this two ones, I'm going to use fresh tint and for this two, I'm going to use white color. Remember friends, you have to use contrast colors, but I'm going to do a dark and light color theme. Let's see how it comes out. So here I have white color in my brush and I'm going to do it in this way just put one single layer passing do not overdo the color just pass your brush in this way and let it take its time to get crackles you'll soon notice them let's do for this one also okay as soon as i have applied paint i can notice the crackles are appearing 
So now friends, I'm going to use a fresh tint color and you can see the crackles have started appearing already. I'll keep them both aside. Remember, you have to do just one swipe in this way and the crackles will start appearing soon. Friends, you can clearly notice the crackles appearing somewhere big, somewhere small. That absolutely depends on how thick you have placed the crackle medium or how thick was your paint. I will let them get dry for a few seconds. I hope it will be done soon. They all look beautiful in own way. I have kept the side as plain because I like it this way. So now friends, till our crackles get dry completely, I'm going to cut this beautiful designs out of the decoupage paper. I have bought this sheet of decoupage paper from the same store, Exhibitsy. There were so many beautiful designs. I'm going to show you. This is a butterfly and flowery print. The next one is a shoe print with beautiful pink and peach roses. I'm going to use this designs because they exactly have the size of print I need for my coaster. So what I'm going to do is using a scissor first of all I'm going to cut out this piece out and then we will be slowly cutting all the edges of it. This is quite a big sheet and I got it for rupees 55 each. Okay, so this is the piece I'm going to show you how to cut. So now friends, using a scissor, cut exactly the shape of the design. As it is a decoupage paper, so it is a bit different from a decoupage napkin. They are thin and really easy to cut. Okay, so now we have got our piece ready. And in the same way, I have cut out many different designs from the same sheet itself because I exactly don't know which one will go on which coaster. So now friends, our coasters have also got dried up and this is how beautiful it looks. I, I absolutely love the crackling effect. You can see here, I have got bigger cracks on this one, this side and the smaller cracks on this one. It came randomly but I absolutely love the way it has come. So now I'm going to decide which design I want to place on which coaster. I think this one will go with it. Okay, I'll just place some random 3P smaller flowers on this one because I want the crackling effect to be looked more and more possibly. So now friends, it's time to place our decoupage papers on our coasters and for that I'm going to use Deco Magic Premium Decoupage Glue, the glossy version. This is the pink and yellow bottle. So shake it well here, I'll pour it in my palette. And now using a flat hairbrush, we'll start placing one by one on place. I think I'll start with this one, I want to place it in this part. So I'll apply the glue. This is a one time thing so you have to be very careful while placing the paper. Gently tap it. Make sure everything sticks through. The most different one which I'm going to place piece by piece in this way. Don't worry because the glue will dry transparent so there won't be any problem. Leave it to get dry for a few seconds and then we'll place another coat of the same decoupage glue. So now friends, the decoupage glue has got dried up so I'm going to give one more layer of decoupage glue on the top of the decoupage we have placed. Just give it an even layer because it's going to dry transparent so you won't have to worry about it. So now friends, we will let them get dry for at least 3 to 4 hours. So now friends, our decoupage glue have got dried up completely and this is how beautiful our coasters look. But friends, to keep it and maintain it as beautiful as we have made it, we have to do one more last step which is using 
decor varnish so i'm going to use the glossy version from little bird i'll pour it in my palette i generally like to do two layers of varnish so what i do is i'll apply first layer of varnish in this way let it get dry for at least two to three hours and then repeat one more layer of varnish in the same way okay so i'll varnish all of them Okay, so now I will let them get dry and show you the final look how does it looks. Okay, so friends, this is how beautiful and colorful our decoupage DIY coasters look. When the gloss has got completely dry, the upper coat is glossy and the crackling effect we have given a looks so much good. So friends, please give it a try, make it yourself and tell me in the comments below friends, how did you like my videos? And if you do like my videos friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.